Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials and have I got a treat for you today. I've got my daughter here, a lot better looking than I am, and she is going to teach you this tutorial today. Enjoy. Hi, this is Shelly for David's Tutorials, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create playlists in YouTube. A playlist on YouTube is a list of videos you can share with other people or keep for your own use. When someone launches a playlist, the videos in this list will play automatically, one after the other. Playlists are excellent if you have a particular topic you are interested in, such as closet organizing, organic gardening, or world history, and you'd like to share the best videos you've found with your friends and social networks. Playlists are also great if, like David's tutorials, you post a lot of videos on different topics and recognize that your viewers who like your cooking tips might not be so interested in your computer programming tips and those who like computer programming might not be quite as interested in music engraving. Playlists allow your visitors to focus on the types of videos that most interest them. Before you can create a playlist, you have to have an account on YouTube. This is necessary for you to like or dislike, comment, create playlists, or upload videos. If you don't have an account or if you aren't signed in, you can still watch YouTube, but you won't be able to do any of those cool things. By the way, since Google owns YouTube, your Google account can also serve as your YouTube account. You are not restricted to adding just your own videos to your playlists. You can add any video on YouTube. For the example shown in this tutorial, I am using the Vivaldi browser. I would have used Chrome, but about two weeks ago, Chrome started crashing our computer, giving us the blue screen of death, so we had to uninstall it. Almost as important as creating a playlist is deciding in advance how you want your playlists to be organized. The name of the new playlist should be so clear that when you come back to your playlists six months or two years or 20 years from now, you can read that name and know instantly what types of videos are on it. By far, the easiest way to create a playlist and add videos to it is to use the links on the video itself. Let's demonstrate by creating a playlist then adding some videos to it. For this demonstration, let's start on the basic YouTube homepage and search for something I find interesting, organic pest control. I type that into the search box, and here is the list of suggested videos on that subject. You can see I have about 372,000 videos on the subject, so I would have a lot of watching to do to find the ones I liked. For now, we will simply select some videos at random to show how to build the playlist. To do this, I click on the first video, then when it comes up, if I decide I want to create a new playlist and add this video to it, all I do is click on the Menu Plus icon beside the Share link. This brings up a dialog box with a list of the playlists I have already created and an option to Create New Playlist at the bottom. I'll select that bottom option since I'm creating a new playlist. At this point, I want to give a clearly understandable name to this playlist so I'll know later what's on it. So here I type in Organic Pest Control, leave the visibility at Public, and click Create. I have now created a new playlist and added the first video to it. All I have to do now is add more videos, which, as you've already guessed, is pretty easy. I can either preview more videos, and when I find one I like, use the same Menu Plus button that I used before, only this time I simply add it to my newly created playlist. Note the pop-up notification in the lower left. Or, if I see a video I already know I like over in the Suggested Videos area in the right-hand column, I can simply hover over its title, which causes the three-dot link to appear. Click on that, then select Add to Playlist. Then check the name of the playlist. Again, note the pop-up notification in the lower left. To see your playlists, first click on your sign-in image in the upper right corner of your YouTube window, then select Creator Studio. Once on your Creator Studio page, click on Video Manager in the left column, then click on Playlists. This will bring you to a list of all the playlists you have in your account. Let's use the Edit button to the right of the list we just created to delete that list. First, click the Edit button. Then we need to click the Edit link below the list name. Yes, this is a bit obscure, but there's one more step. On this third page is where you can do some serious editing. You can rearrange the order of the videos, 
by hovering over the left margin of a video listing until your cursor becomes a four-headed arrow. Then drag that video to a new location. As of the making of this video, the Add Videos button does not work. When I click it, I get a Google sign-in screen, even though I am already signed in. When I click that sign-in button, I get a momentary pop-up window that disappears, then nothing. If I try clicking it again, I get this error message. So it's best to simply ignore that Add Videos button for now and simply add videos from each video listing. One more important thing you need to know is how to share your playlist with others. You can do this on the same edit screen. Simply click on the share button and copy the link to post into your social media page or click on the email link to have YouTube send a playlist link to your email contacts. Also on this screen, you can delete the entire list. To do this, look for the three dot icon to the far right of the playlist title, click it and select delete playlist. Confirm the deletion and the playlist is now gone. I hope this has been helpful to you and that now you feel a lot more confident that you can build your own YouTube playlists and share them with whoever you want. If you found this video helpful, please share it, hmm, maybe in a playlist, with others. And please be so kind as to give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, then the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great tutorial here on David's Tutorials. 